So in today's video, we're going to real quickly find out what two numbers can add up to 13 and subtract to get seven. So it needs to meet both of those conditions. And that's what we're going to practice today. So there are three ways to solve what it, this is going to be referred to as a system of equations. Now I'm just going to go ahead real quick and replace these empty spaces with X and Y. And I can either substitute, I can eliminate, or I can graph. All of them can work. Some work better than others, and that is actually the case with this one because I'm not going to graph. Um, I personally like to do either substitution or elimination. Graphing works this, that either way, though. And because of the fact that I have Y minus Y is going to lead me to presume that elimination is probably going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and choose elimination. Circle that. And then substitution, we will leave out for this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do basically add together these things. So I have, in this case, let me get rid of this stuff. So I have 2x, and then I have, in this case, I'll do plus 0. Since there's nothing there, I'm going to leave it there in this case just to show what you get. But realistically, once you figure that out, you can go ahead and just take this out and just make it 2x is equal to 20. So now I have, in this case, 2x is equal to 20. So then I do 2. And then x is equal to, and then I get 10. I can prove this by going, OK, I have 10 plus something, which we'll figure out what y is in a little bit, is equal to 13. I can also do this by checking out, OK, so to see how can I get up to 13. So then I'm logically to go, OK, 10 plus 3 is going to give me 13. So I'm going to say that y is equal to 3. So then I can test that and go, OK, 10 plus 3. And then you get yourself 13. So essentially, use elimination to go ahead and find out what our x is. In this case, it's going to be, let me, let's use this. And then we can check it and then use that checking to also figure out that y is equal to 3. So these systems equations um, look tricky at first glance, but are honestly pretty easy because if you look at the wording, in this case, we have two numbers. So we'll just say x and y are the two numbers. And keeping it consistent is super helpful because if I change it to x, y, to y and c, I'm going to be finding all these variables. And I don't really know which is which. So it's always going to keep consistent. Um, and most often, it's always easier to just have that be that same thing. And so because of how this is formatted, you get y minus y. In this case, 1 minus 1 is 0. If this had been flipped around and it had been negative x or x mm -hmm. minus x, or if it, and it, and it had been y plus y, that would work too. So essentially, a lot of it has to do with the structure. In this case, the structure worked really well for this one. So that is how to solve this system of equations. And then you end up getting your two numbers, which are going to be 10 and 3. 